Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Mosquitoes. Me and Don are on the edge of a big cypress swamp. You probably won't be able to appreciate this drop. That's one of those hills if you try to climb down you're probably gonna go down on your backside. Cypress knees and all but good place for honeybees. Lots of water, lots of forage. This is an old weekend vacation camp cottage, whatever you want to call it. They've had bees going in under this landing for about three years, I think they said. Now we're in early to mid spring right now when the bees would be swarming. If these have swarmed, they've left a whole lot of bees behind because they're super active. So we're gonna be looking for queen cells as we're going through just to see have they swarmed or have they not should we be looking for a queen a little overcast today rain on us a little coming up hopefully that holds off we're going through the inside to get upstairs there's an entrance door right there which we're gonna have to cut the floor right inside that but these old stairs i'd rather not break a hip i think don probably feels the same way <laughs> so we're not using the stairs once we've got these out of here there's a lot of work to be done to this house to kind of keep them from moving in somewhere else on another swarm but nobody's ever here i don't know that they really are too concerned about it I, did they say they were trying to sell the place um I, I they said remember. they might in the in the future let me show you this chocolate brown bathroom before we get started it matches the chocolate brown rug i don't think i've ever seen a brown tub Okay, that was the heat signature you just saw running this way. Looks like the joist run this way. We're gonna pull the carpet back from the corner and try to find our joist and make as small of a cut as we can. Whatever we cut out, we're probably gonna to have to scab in framing boards to put the floor back. So don't wanna make it too big, but that's what we're working with. A lot of heat right there. fortunate on this we got less than a half a sheet of plywood right here we'll get these tack strips out of the way and see how far it goes under the wall yeah I thought maybe somebody had replaced this before but no luck Did the heat signature come over further than that? A couple times up there stairs and my leg work out for the week of being in. <laughs> I just want to come and watch, but I don't okay. want to get in y'all's way. No, you ain't in the way. Can I really watch? Yeah. yeah. You, ain't, you ain't bothering me none. I feel like I'm moving us out of the house. Mmm. <laughs> it sounds it with the door too. We got two layers of floor. Cut through the first layer of subfloor and realize this has been overlaid. So I'm to make some more cuts. So I'm covered with sawdust and we're pulling nails and trying to work this bottom piece out right now. We got some nail heads that broke off. So we're gonna try to run some screws on this side and pick it up. My saw's slinging water. It's crazy. Here's where it gets fuzzy. Yeah, here's the fun part. You yep. pull, pull the board. First getting them mad. That one's got a nail in it somewhere over there. Ooh, ooh. I can feel the wax separating there. You probably won't be able to pull up on that end because it has a nail in it. Yeah, you can see it coming up. Oh, I hear them. <laughs> <coughs> there we go. Yeah, I got it. I can't, I can't 
the nail bar in because I'm hitting honey. <laughs> Set it down, just hold it there for a second. Uh, I'll get the rotary saw and cut that, but for now, we'll start cutting combs. Pretty good size high. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna go further back under the wall this yeah. way. I'm gonna hand me a, a honey bucket. This is the first one. Nice white comb, new comb. Already? Got me. I don't know what you know about honey, but the uncapped, which is what this is, is not dried down yet. Yeah. So this would have to be eaten or dried down. If you just try to store it like that in a ferment. You can refrigerate it or freeze it, of course, and and hold that process off for a while. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, comb out. You can bite it off and chew it and cool. spit the wax out when you're done. Wouldn't it be easier if we could just pull this whole thing up and just turn it upside down? It would. I'm gonna have to go get that saw there. It smells good. You wanna come over here and look down on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. You know, honey, so take a bite. Just don't swat if they, don't swat if anything flies at you. Come on over here. <laughs> and don't dive in it. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know how close I can get without getting you, scared. Oh man. That's awesome. That is good honey. It tastes man. really good too. I'm not seeing as many bees in here as I thought I would and there's some there's an open cell right there, open queen cell. Let me bring one of those down to them. I'm letting them eat it. Go ahead, take a bucket. What do you think? Mm. Real good. First one without some uncapped honey. And that, that might be all we find because now that what I'm seeing up here, it's possible they have swarmed already. And when they do, they eat a lot of honey when they leave. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see when we get in. All I'm seeing right now is uncapped, but it smells good. According to the taste testers, it is good. You can see these honey frames here. We ripped the tops off of them pulling this board up. Those bottom combs are gonna be probably brood loaded, but probably honey loaded as well. It's a bit unusual here too. We've stirred up a big old black ant colony. It was occupying a little space somewhere in here. They're carrying off dead bees. <laughs> she gave me a stinger. So mm -hmm. I got two of them so far. When you care enough to send the very best. It's all um, laid out all the way through here. You got eggs in here. Sure, yeah. It's beautiful. We're going to drop the honey off of it and. That's where old hive was. It died out. This place just had a hive more than once in it for sure. And it's loaded with small hive beetles. Yep. Oh, we got all the lavender and everything inside. Yeah. Now is that B or is that yeah that's B. That's all drones. Yeah. All drone larvae. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's that's not a pimple. That's he got me. Do you watch uh, Wallace B Man? Tim Durham of North Mississippi. Who? Tim Durham. Yes. I'll turn the camera off. Yeah. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> but last few days I haven't been able to move my fingers. You know, it hurts a little. I got stung yesterday and my fingers are fine. Mm. They say it's good for arthritis to be stung. It definitely is. Some pretty honey. Hmm. And it tasted good too. You don't come right off easy. Yeah. Yeah, there's a. Yep. Queen cut. Nothing, nothing in it though. We do have a laying queen in here, definitely. Though. Oh, yes. We got eggs and young larvae all over the place. A lot of drones though, they were about getting ready to... Swarm again. If, if they hadn't swarmed already, and I think they have just because of the numbers of bees that I'm seeing, I think they've already swarmed one time. And I did see an old queen cell that looked like it had been partially chewed down. So I'm saying they've swarmed in there piling up again. We are the first week of April. I don't know what the almanac says, but our spring starts fairly early. I'm thinking of the coast too. I, didn't, I keep forgetting we're an hour north of the coast. Yeah, and I noticed the trees here are really a lot further bloomed than what they are on the coast. Yeah. Well, they're being surprisingly docile. Yeah, I get, I get one every once in a while just, just to bother me enough to... Yeah. <laughs> that one went, went in my ear. <laughs> That's a different type of buzz. You will probably have to strain the sawdust and everything out of this. That's cool. You just take it and mush it up in your hand. Like filleting an eel. <laughs> Where do you get those knives? Uh, these I order on Amazon. This one came in a two set for 27 bucks. It's a 14 inch. Sharp as they come. When I got it, I opened the package and it cut, or, or I was opening the package and the serrated one cut me through the package. <laughs> these little black beetles you might see in this, some of this honeycomb. Uh, don't worry about them. They're not harmful. They're just like strange. Hive beetles? Is that what you call small, them? They're small hive beetles. This little black bug right here. Uh -huh. the colony this strong will keep the be beetles off of them, but the beetles will get into the combs and mm -hmm. lay eggs, lay, be lay beetle eggs. Mm -hmm. And their larvae look like maggots and they'll turn everything slimy in the hive and the bees will just leave. Yeah. But when you got a colony like this, they'll corral them up in a corner somewhere and starve them. Oh, nice. And so this honey needs to be processed pretty quick because it has hive beetles in the colony okay. but once you're done squeezing it out and straining it they're not a problem you can pull honey out down here and in, in the set up north they would never have this problem but down here you can pull honey out that you think it's just as clean it's the cleanest honey I've ever seen and you bucket it up in a five gallon bucket and put a food safe lid on it and all and come back a week later and the bucket's just full of beetle maggots yeah. Because one beetle got in there and you didn't see it. Yeah. I just thought the more that you messed with it, the angrier they would get. They usually are testy when you first open it. Mm -hmm. And then they calm down. And then the closer you get to the end of the removal, they start getting aggravated again. I can't say these have been bad. So I, I take... Most of the stings I get are... Uh, Right at the beginning and an hour towards the end. 
I guess because you're in them long enough, they're like, we've had enough, go away. <laughs> Oh, I know my arthritis is good for a couple of days, Randy. And that knee especially. <laughs> hey, uh, the other day my hands were achy and I got stung in the hip and... It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's a miracle cure. It is. There's the bottom of our floorboard out there. Basically, I got it sitting outside draining because it's covered with honey. You see the honey on the deck there. I'll scrape that clean before we put it back. That piece of board will go back. And then right now we're about to start vacuuming and cutting these combs out of the floor. I'm surprised the hive's not any bigger. It probably was, but it definitely was at some point. But I'm really kind of surprised they're confined to this about uh, four foot long space and one joist space. We've given a little time to clean up and they ran the ants off. We've been we've been downstairs talking for a little bit. All those black ants, I don't see them anymore, so the bees have run them off or something. Oh here they are back here in the corner. Start cutting out from under that wall and work our way back to the corner. Anything left in this one? Yeah, whole big giant pile of bees and a little bit of comb hanging, I think. About to get the spatula and go to work on that. And here's where I get stung. I'll lay down on something. <laughs> <laughs> well, no worse than sitting down on it. <laughs> yeah. That that got my thigh. Uh, Right now, I think I'm I'm in their uh, path yeah. for flying out. You're in a line of fire. Mm hmm. I so say you're in their line of fire. No, not in their line of fire. Just it's they're coming and going, and I'm sitting in the coming and going path. <laughs> Before we get this started, did you um, did you mark the screen so we could find her easier? How do you? <laughs> I mark her in advance. <laughs> Will she come when it's all over? Huh? Will she come when it's all over? Yeah. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot more bees come back here. You sure you're getting them sucked up in the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Importing it out the front one though, just blowing them through the house. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's, look at the beetles. It's deep back in the back. Yeah, man, it's a load of a beetle. Look at this side of it. Oh my god.
We're about halfway through this cutout now. We still got some kind of difficult access work to do back here because this is about 10 inches or 12 inches from the wall and then it'll go past the wall, the depth of the framing. So another 16 inches or so from this point back in there. There's a lot of bees in here. I, when we opened the floor at first glance, I didn't think there was a whole lot of bees. I thought, well, they might have swarmed. We saw some queen cups and stuff. And maybe the remains of a queen cell. So they may have swarmed. I'm still not sure about that. There, but there's a lot of bees in here. So it's a good possibility they haven't swarmed. I'm looking for the queen, but I'm not really taking time to search for her because we've got a lot of work to do. And we're just sucking up piles of bees at a time. So good and, and because of where it's at it's just kind of difficult to look for if we spot her great we got a cage here ready for her to go in if we don't we know we got her in the vac and i ain't worried about it she'll end up with the colony either way you can see how loaded this colony is with hive beetles a lot of times when i do a cutout like this and they're really high beetle loaded i don't try to save brood because it's kind of difficult to do the cut out and get bees back on the brood in a hurry, which is what you gotta do. Or have a box set up here and put them directly on it if you can. Uh, JP does that a lot, he's pretty good about that, but if you can't do that and you work kinda like I do, you can lose a colony to small high beetles. So a lot of times I'll take these, even if I lose the brood, it'll still be a good colony. I'll start them back over just like they were a swarm, feed them up if they need it, and uh, if, they, if there's a bloom cycle going on i'll let them be on their own because they usually won't touch a feeder in that case anyway but i stick them in a small box with some drawn comb and even some of this i could save there's a lot of really good brood in here there's a lot of brood in here this hive as big as it was was about to explode in population i hate to lose all this but you saw how many hive beetles there were and they're they're like that on Half the combs were pulling out of here, so I'm just not taking any chances. I don't want them to abscond and lose the colony anyway. So they can they can stand to lose a little brood. Even right here, you can see the hive beetles. This is not hive beetle slime. This is honey from us busting this hive loose. But look at all the beetles. in the wrong place <laughs> they're coming out they're going in <laughs> it's unbelievable it's a war here <laughs> he's sitting spread a leg and just dare just dare him. i dare you <laughs> <laughs> Got some battery on it. Here we go. Don, we can go buy you a calendar if you want to. <laughs> 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 to the end we got all the comb out we're just running bees out with a repellent and we have the queen right here she was one of the last holdouts behind a little bitty piece of comb one of the red bones 
This is hard, this is hard work. Can y'all hurry up and get done? <laughs> Why don't you snuggle up with that stuffed hippo over there? I'll let you know when we're ready to go. Real quick here, this is a split I made last weekend. It's brewed in a medium box. I want to show you the Swiffer pad taking care of the little beetle problem. All these beetles legs are hung up. Now that don't take care of everything because they don't always get on it, but when they do, it works pretty good. Gotta hang their legs up and they'll lay there and starve to death after they get tangled up good enough.